What's going on YouTube? Coming back with a quick video here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the deals with gold for this week, which is August uh, 11th through the 18th. So if you don't know, every week you get a new set of game sales for Xbox Live uh, on Tuesday. And I'll be trying now to go over those games every Tuesday morning and posting up a video of them. And that way you can see if there's anything you want to pick up through the week or maybe... You know, get paid on Friday and want to pick them up, any of that kind of stuff. So I'll be doing that, and then I'm going to start trying to go over. They have big game sales that come out every other week, uh, and they change some of the games out during the week. Um, I'll go over those two, but we're going to get started with some of these. Some of these I already have and know that they're good, but I'll go through the price point and if you should get them or not. So first, you have Greedfall. It's a 1,000 gamer score, 3,326 true achievements. It's a 60 to 80 hour completion. Not too many have it, but right now it is on sale for twelve forty nine, and I'll go ahead and click on it for you so I can tell you what the exact price or percentage is off of it. But originally fifty dollars, looking at seventy five percent off. Uh, I don't actually know a lot about this game, but there are quite a few missable achievements um, throughout the game. But other than missable, there's no unobtainable or glitchy. Or sorry, there's one. A buggy achievement for collecting ingredients 200 times uh, other than that though it is just pretty much a grind for some of the achievements the only hard ones is complete the game on extreme mode it's 150 gamer score for 938 true achievement other than that the closest thing is you found the old world and expense of your roots don't know what that is but it's a secret achievement so a lot of secret achievements but only those two are hard at all next you're going to be looking at seven days to die i personally have this game almost have it completed uh, i need a boosting partner so if anybody wants to do that let me know uh it's a thousand gamer score true achievement of 3978 uh this game is a little i would just say glitchy as a game um but it is a 200 plus hour completion um 197 have completed it and really the only ones that i have left uh, achievement wise also there's a ton of buggy achievements in this game just putting that out there ton of buggy achievements um kill 2500 people 2500 zombies travel thousand kilometers those are the three hard achievements there's a three i have left and to kill 500 other players there is a boosting method um if you look it up to do it but it still takes a lot of time you can probably get a, maybe 30 kills an hour um, if you're really boosting it and you have better setups, you can do it quicker. Um, but killing the 2,500 zombies just comes through playing the game, and then there's methods at the end that you can grind them out. So, still a hard completion, 200 plus hours, not impossible, it just takes a lot of time. Coming in at the, we'll skip over one of these. Uh, some of these I'm looking up because I've either never heard of them or have very little knowledge of them. Um, but the Walking Dead Michonne Collection, this is another Telltale game with a thousand gamer score. Uh, but if you're going, I wouldn't even buy this one due to the fact that it is on, um, Game Pass. So if it's on Game Pass, you would probably be better off almost just buying the game. Um, it's normally $14.99 with it being on sale right now. It is three seventy four, so that's not bad. But for a month, the Game Pass I believe is ten dollars. You can get this and all the other Walking Dead games. So uh, I would probably pick it up. But this is one of the shorter um, completions on the list. Thousand gamer score, true achievement of a thousand and thirty three. Uh, it's a it says one to two hour completion, but that's for each episode. So two times three, looking at about a six hour completion for the whole game. But again. Six hours, thousand gamer score, no missable, no glitchy achievements, none of that. Just a quick game to complete. Uh, so either pick it up or get Game Pass, and you'll have it on there. Also, next game is Carnival Games, nine ninety nine. It is seventy five percent off right now. Uh, it's a thousand gamer score, three thousand forty seven true achievements with fifty achievements. Uh, it does not have a completion time on it because only twenty five people have completed it, which is kind of weird. So. Uh, if you're looking at getting it, there's not really any super hard achievements. They're all just slightly higher than their true achievement value, except for win 25 decathlon tournaments. Um, that is a times 5, and win 10 world circuit matches is a times 6 multiplier. So, only hard achievements there. 
Uh, next, looking at 8-bit armies. Also, if these videos are a little bit long and you would rather me just skip to the, you know, games that I know are easy achievements, I can also do that. Uh, this personally doesn't bother me the way going through all of them because it's kind of nice for me that I can post them up and you can let me know what games you want. And that game is not popping up on True Achievements. Hmm. Okay, pulls up under a different name for some reason. Uh, it's 335... What? 335 gamer score with a true achievement of 1,915. Hmm. And then there's DLC that I believe comes with more achievements. Okay, that's a very weird game. Two ninety nine. dollars I'm definitely not picking that up. Sorry. That kind of threw me for a loop there. have never seen that. Um, then you have the Knights of Pen and Paper Bundle. I've covered this before. They're not hard completions um, that I remember. Uh, they have a 1,000 gamer score. It's 23.15. That's for the Plus One Deluxe Edition, um, which right now is on sale for $5, or you can do... The bundle for eight ninety nine, which gives you both games. Um, on the second game, um, the achievements I believe got a little bit harder. Sorry about that. I'm pulling it up now. Uh, actually, they got a little bit easier. Thousand gamers score two thousand, uh, but it's a twenty to twenty five hour completion. So a little bit of time sink, but not a bad game to pick up if you're looking for uh, two pretty easy achievement lists. Two thousand gamer score, not bad. Outbreak Nightmare Chronicles is a thousand gamer score, 1,137 true achievement, 12 achievements. It takes two to three hours to complete, and 70% of people who have it have completed it. Right now it's on sale for $749. Um, this is the Nightmare Collection. I'm not sure. There's no DLC or anything for this game that has achievements. So the other option, um, which they don't have posted for some reason, the other option is just the Nightmare Chronicles is half off right now for $249. Beholder, the complete edition, is the next game on the list. I was actually looking at getting this just because it looked like a fun game. Uh, but the achievements for it are not the easiest. It's a 1,000 gamer score, 3,300. Uh, it's 48 achievements and takes 20 to 25 hours. 5% of people have completed it. Only 1,000 people actually have the game. But all the achievements are missable because this game is kind of weird. You're spying on people and making sure that they do what they're supposed to. And it's kind of a weird game. But right now it is 80% uh, off, so may end up picking it up just to play it. And if some of you don't know, I don't always go for completions. I play some games for fun, which I know that's a weird thing to say in this kind of hobby. But Overwatch, Call of Duty, stuff like that, uh, NBA, even though I do complete those every year or try to at least, um, these are the main games that I just play for mo fun. Uh, the next name is Black Sod, Sad, Under the Sun. 1,000 Gamer Score has 6,000 true achievements. Only three people have completed it. There are no missable, or sorry, there are no glitchy, buggy achievements or any of that, but there are a couple of missable achievements. Uh, pretty hard completion if you're looking at it, so kind of up to you on that one, but I'm going to be staying away from that. The next game is Bomb Fest. And again, comment down below if these videos are a little too long and you want me to skip. Just tell you the good games, but I figure I can go over all of them and tell you the sales also, so maybe if it's something you do want to play, you can pick it up. Bombfest, 1,000 gamer score, 1,458 true achievement, has 34 achievements, and is a 2-3 to three hour completion. Right now it's on sale for $1.94, so it is 83% off. Sorry if my math is slightly wrong there. My brain doesn't always decide to work. Um, this game, this though, you, I'm thinking about picking way. it up. Just because it is, it seems like a weird kind of game. Two to three hour completions, not bad. Uh, especially with me trying to go for 200,000 this week. I am just, just over, or just under 5,000 away. So, going to be looking at that. But that is one of the games I'll be picking up. And so is Outbreak the Nightmare uh, Collections Edition. Next game here is Genesis Alpha 1. This game has a thousand gamer score, four thousand nine hundred seventy nine true achievement, and twenty eight people have completed it. Uh, there's no buggy achievements or anything like that, uh, but 
again, it's kind of a harder completion with some of the achievements. Uh, unlock all artifacts, 90 gamer scores, 762 true achievement, unlock all species, same thing. So there's quite a few games that are kind of hard uh, to get there. Monochrome Order. I actually looked at this game the other day because it was on a different uh, game sale, I believe. That might have been Monochroma. Either way, 1,000 gamer score, 1,832 true achievements. A lot of people have completed it with 35 uh, achievements. It is 25% off right now. There's also a... There's no completion time on this, so I'm not sure on that one. Again, it's because not many people have completed it, and if not too many have completed it, most of the time people are not going to uh, tell you what the completion time is. This next one is 1,000 Gamer Score, 3,558 True Achievements for 51 Achievements, 12 to 15 hour completions called Valor Vesterland. Um, right now, it is roughly 33% off, but 12 to 15 hour completion, uh, 27 have completed it, and it has a 2 star rating, so I would probably stay away from it. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from that, because uh, another pet peeve I have is if my Gamer Score does not end in, oh, maybe I missed something there. Yeah, five or zero. There's an achievement for seven on this list. And I know if I complete it, it doesn't matter, but I hate not having my gamer score in seven or zero. I purposely went out and bought games just so I could fix that. So next we're looking at the station. It is 449. Um, it has a thousand gamer score for a thousand and forty five true achievements. It's an under an hour completion. I will be picking this up at four fifty uh, right now. And there are a ton of missable achievements. Not a ton, sorry. Total there is only eleven achievements and all but four are missable and one is buggy. Um, which is the fine Silas's ID bracelet. But there's a hundred percent hundred percent achievement walkthrough, sorry. That is up on here, and it's a 23-minute video for the whole game. So I'll definitely be picking this up, and that is one of those. The next game is Valferis. Probably said that wrong. Uh, and Slain Double Pack. Valferis is a thousand gamer score, three thousand five hundred and fifty true achievement, thirty-four achievements, eight to ten hour completion. Um, the double pack is half off right now, and the other game slain that you will get with it is a thousand gamer score 5500 true achievements 30 gamer score 15 to 20 hour completion again neither are personally i don't care for either of the games and the achievements are missable and hard so probably going to back off of those now we're getting into 360 titles these no longer are guaranteed to have a thousand gamer score which I guess apparently neither are some of these games due to the fact earlier one of the games had 300 gamer score, which was weird. Mars Logs, it is a 400 gamer score, 1,153 true achievement, 15 to 20 hour completion. Uh, it's on sale from $9.99 to $2. Um, when you check it, I will not be picking that up. There are uh, missables and buggy achievements all over the place on that game, and it's a 360 game, so... You're not getting anything fixed if, for some reason, you can't get it. Darksiders, the original. Uh, I have played this a little bit, but me being a dumb kid when this came out in 2010, I didn't have internet and was crappy at it, so I did not get very far in it. 1,000 gamer score, 1,677 completion. It's a 20 to... True achievement, sorry. 20 to 25 hour completion with 43 achievements. I probably will be picking this up. Uh... Or maybe not picking it up. I already own it. It's $4, so it is 75% off right now. I will be playing it pretty soon. Uh, just to at least beat the story and pick up some of the achievements. And for the last game, stacking. Um, this game, uh, I've seen a couple times. It's 250 gamer score at $3 and... Or 340 true achievements. 21 achievements. 6 8 hour completion. $3. Sorry. Uh, for that, it is 80% off right now. I may pick it up just because... Uh, six to eight hour completion is a little bit of time for 250 gamer score, but kind of helps my true achievement ratio and all of that, or uh, completion percentage. So anyways, those are all the games that are on sale. I think from now on, since this was about a 15 minute video, I will cut back and I will avoid any games that I know are trash, have buggy achievements, or 
are not going to help, you know, with completion percentage or anything like that. But all of these, I have just went over. So let me know what you think of the deals. Let me think, give me your comments on, should I just do one that only shows the best uh, 1,000 gamer scores? Or should I just do, again, like this, that shows all of them and you can make the decision for yourself. But this way you can get my personal opinion on some of the games. Anyways, thanks for